guys, welcome to my channel. Woo! <laughs> so I was gonna do a draw my life, but I decided I can't draw, so I'm just gonna tell you about my life. And I was also gonna do this bef while Sophia was napping, but she decided to wake up. So she's gonna join us in this long, ranting video. Right, Bubba? Okay, so I'll tell you guys about my life from birth to now. So I was born, okay, no. I'll start with my family. So I'm the youngest of four kids. Um, my mom and dad got married when my mom was 17, 16 or 17 and my dad was like 20 or something like that. Um, they're four years apart, so whatever that is. Um, and they had my brother, Alundra. Um, he is now 30 years old. He is nine years older than me. And then there was my sister a couple years later. They had her and she is six years older than me and right now she's 27 I believe. Um, and then there was my brother. He is two and a half years older than me. He right now is 23. 23? I believe 23. Um, and then they had me a couple years later on May 23rd, 1997. I am now 21 years old. Yeah. Um, so basically, my parents were together for, I think, 16 years, I believe. Yeah, I think it was 16 or 17 years they were together. Um, it was honestly, I feel like, a not the best marriage. They fought a lot. Um, they struggled a lot, and quite frankly, I, near the end, I believe my dad was cheating on her. Um, he had basically a completely other family. He had a girlfriend that had three kids, and he became very distant. Um, I remember as a child, like, listening in on conversations with, that he would have with her. And I just knew he was seeing someone else. It was awful. But, yeah, my mom decided to get a divorce from him, which is good for her. She needed to do it. Um, so they got divorced when I was 9 or 10. Um, and at that time, my sister was pregnant as well, and she was going to have a baby. Um, so uh, my brother was already moved out. He was, like, 18 at the time. And my sister was about to move out and have her baby and all that stuff. Um, she's an amazing mother, um, oh my goodness, she, I look up to her a lot as a parent, uh, especially a young parent. What are you doing? Um, yeah, so, me and my brother were the only ones living with our parents still, so we moved out with my mom. Ah! Yeah, to a two-bedroom apartment, so I was living with my mom, like, in the same room, but whatever, it was not a huge deal, I didn't mind. You don't be. It was mostly my room anyway, but which sounds really rude, but yeah, that's how she made it. So we moved out, and my dad ended up having his girlfriend and her kids move into his house. So this is the house I grew up in. I lived there for 10 years. Like it was my house. I feel like <laughs> that's so rude, but whatever. So they moved in, and it wasn't even like an introduction. It was like, hey, this is this person. Um, meet her, get to know her, and eventually she'll move in. No, she moved in, I want to say like a month after my mom moved out. And I think they were actually living there before that, but they left when I and my, me and my brother were there. So yeah, that's horrible. Um, and I want to say two years later, uh, we, we got in this fight. I don't remember what it was about. I'm pretty sure my mom dropped us off early or something, like an hour early. And my stepmom, my dad's girlfriend, whatever, they're married, but whatever, my dad's wife. They had a huge fight, my mom and her. And I was like, you are not talking to my mother like this. And I called her a fat dumb though. Oh my God, that's so rude, but she deserved it. She was being awful. And ever since that day, I have not seen my dad. So, I haven't seen my dad in, eight years. Yeah, I haven't seen my dad in eight years. 
he, she ended up telling him to basically cut all ties. Um, he basically told my mom, you divorced me, so I'm divorcing my kids as well. They're not my family anymore. I don't want anything to do with them. So ever since that day, I have had zero contact with my father, and I have not seen him. I've run into him a couple times, like, while we're out, and he explodes. Well, his wife explodes. She calls us stupid. She She's come to my place of work and called me a slut, a whore, um, that I'm going to amount to nothing, and all these horrible things. At my place of work, at the mall, whatever. She'll say it to, to me, to my sister, to my mom, anyone that is in my face, basically. What are you doing? She's a horrible person. Horrible. And because of her, maybe it was my dad's choice, but I feel like mostly because of her, I have not spoken to my dad in eight years. And he's no longer considered my dad. I basically say that I don't have a biological father. Um, so yeah, that is my life with my dad. He is not in the picture at all. He, I don't even know if he knows about Sophia, to be honest with you. He's never met her. I, I have no idea. Um, so yeah. And then there's my mom. She is now married. Um, she got married how many years later? I want to say eight, eight years later, nine years, six, six, eight years later she got married. So I, I saw my dad the first two years of their divorce. So yeah, eight years later, um, she got married. Uh, so she's happy and she's in a great marriage. They live together. He has two kids that are amazing and he's very much involved in Sophia's life and my life. Um, so yeah, that's my mom. Um, my brother, he lives on his own. He's always lived on his own. He's actually getting married next year. I'm so happy for him. I cannot wait. Uh, my sister, she now has two kids. Uh, she lives on her own and she's thriving. She got all of her schooling done and she has a great job and I'm so beyond proud of her because she struggled for a while there and she came out on top and that just makes me so happy for her. Uh, my other brother, he now has three kids. Um, so this is, this is when it gets kind of sad. Uh, so he had his, his first child. And then two years later, I think it was two years later, he his girlfriend got pregnant again. And um, when the baby was three months old, she passed away in her sleep. Oh my God, it was so sad. Um, it was a very hard point in our family's lives. Um, I don't even really want to talk about it because I don't want to cry right now because it scares the crap out of me, especially having my own child now. Um, just to know that your baby can pass away for basically no reason at all, it's, it scares me. I, uh, you have no idea. Uh -huh. I you do. But yeah, um, and then my brother and his girlfriend end up having another baby. He's actually only two and a half months older than Sophia. So we were, me and his girlfriend were pregnant together and everything, so that was pretty cool. What are you doing? Are you trying to get my phone? No, you're not allowed that. You're not allowed. Um, so yeah, they have a baby. And then me, I feel like this is supposed to be about me and I keep ta telling you guys about my family because I hate talking about myself. Um, through high school, it was really rough. Um, I went through a lot of depression and I had some anxieties. Um, I had a, a long relationship, a four-year relationship that was horribly toxic. Um, and I ended up breaking up with him and honestly running from him because he, I don't know, it was, it was a bad, bad relationship. Um, both of us weren't happy, but both of us kept coming back to each other for some stupid reason. I don't even know why. It was stupid. Um, but yeah, we broke up and I ended up uh, becoming really close friends with a couple girls. Um, that honestly helped me a lot and they made me grow a lot because in high school I didn't have any friends at all because my boyfriend didn't let me. So I got really, really close with these girls. We did a lot together. We grew up and we 
we figured our lives out together. Um, again, I had a lot of depression and anxiety in high school, so it, it was really good for me to have some friends. Um, I ended up actually in grade, the end of grade 12, no, I was graduated already. And I started working full time and I, I got really depressed again. Um, and I, because I didn't know what I wanted to do, I didn't end up going to college, like I applied but I didn't end up going because I was scared. So I didn't go and I got super depressed and I ended up cutting myself and not eating anymore and it was, it was going really, really bad. I was in very bad health. And then I ended up finding out that I had dermoid cysts in my ovaries. So I ended up having to have um, surgery. And I had surgery and it was just supposed to be a simple surgery. Where did you go? Oh, you stole it! I, I needed a, a simple surgery, a laparoscopic um, surgery. So they just put in like a little tube and got the dermoid cyst out. Um, but they ended up doing that and the cyst ended up being way bigger than they expected. So I ended up being about this big on my ovaries. And the ovaries are like this big. So it was pretty big. Um, so they had to completely open me up. So it was like the same incision as a C-section. Um, so yeah, they did that and I was told after that that I may not be able to have kids. And that really, really hurt me and hit a deep spot. And she's like, ugh. It was, uh, yeah, so I got really depressed about that, and they said I have to come back for a follow up exam to see how things are going, and they could tell me for sure if I could have kids. Um, I didn't end up going to that appointment because I was terrified, completely terrified. Um, so I narrowed it down to if I were to have kids, it'd be very difficult for me to have kids, or I wouldn't be able to have kids at all. Obviously that's not the case because I have this monkey. <laughs> but yeah, um, so a couple months later, um, I was fully healed, I was back to myself, I w was no longer depressed to be honest with you, I was getting a lot better, I was happy, I started hanging out with people again, um, socializing, all that fun stuff, and my friends and I ended up going to like this hookah bar, it's basically like a lounge area where you smoke hookah, I didn't really smoke it just because it hurt my stomach and my lungs and uh, I didn't really like it but yeah I ended up going there basically every day to hang out which is stupid and embarrassing but whatever um and that's where I met my now boyfriend Sophia's dad um and we just hung out and we met in March and we just like hung out and um we weren't really anything and then one day we hung out alone and sparks were flying. I don't know. I feel like we got really, really close, really, really fast. Um, we felt head over heels for each other so quickly. Um, and at the time, like six years, or six years, six months before that, he got out of a long, a long relationship as well. It was three years and it ended pretty badly just like my relationship did. So we kind of went through the same things, but we were both over our previous relationships and we've grown from them. We learned like... <coughs> It's okay. We learned from our mistakes and we became better people, better um, boyfriends and girlfriends, whatever, yeah. So um, we actually kept our relationship a secret for a while. We didn't make it known until like June and we met in March. Um, we started officially dating in May, but we were basically dating before that. Um, but yeah, and then in September, we. So we were dating for like six months. In September we decided to move out together. So we moved out into our own apartment, a little one bedroom that I absolutely adored. It was so cute, but the landlord like was going through a divorce and all this stupid stuff and it was like, in, it was awful. Um, it was a lot of drama, so we decided we needed to move. Um, at that time, luckily, my sister lived in a triplex, which I previously lived in actually. Um, she, the bought the base, blah, blah, blah. the apartment under her ended up coming up for rent, so we grabbed it and we rented it out. Um, and before we moved out, my parents and a lot of people were like, Oh, like you guys are gonna have a kid, you have a two bedroom now, like just do it, whatever. 
we'll all be happy for you. Duh. And we're like, no, we're not ready for kids. We're not going to have kids for a while, if, even if we can have kids. Um, Tyler and I actually stopped using birth control and contraception and all that previously, like, six months before that. So we weren't doing it. So it was like, if it happens, it happens kind of thing. Um, and two months after living here, we fell pregnant. Um, I didn't know I was pregnant until I was, like, eight weeks. So I was two months pregnant when I found out. Um, and I was honestly really happy about it. Tyler was, like, so surprised, and he was, like, scared at first, but he was like, do you know what? We can do it. It's fine. Like, we're going to love this child. We're going to treat her like gold. Well, the baby like gold. We don't know the gender yet. But, yeah. Um, so it was kind of a hard pregnancy. I worked a lot, and when I was 16 weeks, I ended up getting assaulted at work. Um, she knew I was pregnant, and she attacked me quite badly and I'll talk more about it in another video eventually it's just right now we're going through court and I actually have to go to court in February about it so once that's all dealt with I'll do a video about it um I don't want to cry oh my god but yeah yeah um it was a horrible experience I'll do a video about it but yeah so 16 weeks I got attacked while I was pregnant and I ended up moving to a different store to work. Um, I took a, like a month off work because of it and all that. And yeah, so I ended up um, just keep kept working after a while, after I took some time off. Um, I was still pregnant, obviously. Ah! Yeah. And then I ended up stopped working at the end of March. So it was like the 28th of March. We stopped, I stopped working. Um, because I was starting to get, like, really sick and sore, so I stopped working, and, um, April 21st, 2018, this little mama jamma came out, which was a very hard birth. I will do a birth story video as well. Um, it was awful. Actually, it wasn't that bad, but the ending was awful. Um, and it was very traumatic for me and Tyler. I feel like he's still nightmares from it, to be honest with you. But yeah, um, now she is five months old next week, and Tyler works full time. Um, he's right now he's up for a promotion to manager at his work, so he's doing really good. Sophia's doing good, growing like a weed, very like <laughs> silly, silly girl very big personality. Um, I'm doing pretty good. I'm on maternity leave until April. Um, so we could spend lots of time together. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So that's my life from birth to now. Um, we are growing strong. Yeah, aren't we? Having a hella good time. <laughs> okay. That's it. <laughs> Say bye, Sophia. Bye. Bye, guys. Please like and maybe subscribe. See you guys at the next video.